so today I'm gonna try to build a bed uh, because I'm gonna be traveling up north in a couple of weeks to visit my sister and as you can see my van is nowhere finished because I've been focused on finishing my bathroom uh, so the thing is uh, let's clear it out and uh, make it ready for building and I'm just gonna put the bed together loosely today to see how it works out and then uh, the thing is if I'm not done by the time I have to go I'll just put a mattress in the back and go easy easy you know but it would be nice to be done with everything uh, finish it up but the thing is um, I have some holes and I have some brackets that's supposed to go in those holes and I that's what I'm gonna fasten the bed to so if I'm gonna do it the correct way I should drill some holes so I get the holes where it should be and then plan the bed after that so I can connect these pieces here to that uh, but right now we're just gonna wing it uh, it's not gonna like everything can be unscrewed and redone and that's my purpose with everything I do is just not make it in a way that you have to make something new to do it but rather to make it in a way that you can unscrew it and do it again if you need to so my plans for today bed It does not help that the whole belt, uh, car is tilted, so it doesn't make it easier to work in here because it just keeps sliding down there. But we try, we try, we try our best. This is the garage box with everything in it. So we got oil, we got gas, we got glue, we got screws, we got mix and max. And ooh, these are the hooks I was talking about. They are, they, I need to loosen them up also because they are stuck and they're supposed to be flimsy. So these are the bolts that go in there down the floor and connect with the car so whew, get it out of the way so let's see here These are gonna be these parts, <laughs> and and this is leftover because I have to take I had to take eight centimeters off of these that I had because they were thirty centimeters and now they're twenty two centimeters because if I kept them on thirty centimeters I wouldn't be able to sit up and if I I couldn't take them down to 20 centimeters because then it would crash with this one. So hopefully it's working. We'll just see. And my really bad cutting skills. I tried to put up a plank and line it so when I was cutting, but then I didn't have my sturdy thing. I only had the one with the thin blade and that blade kept swirling even if this was going straight the blade kept moving because it was uh, soft so is this one here I think this one is uh, I think this one is here the 
think this one is this one. And then we have this one here, I think. No, it's the other way around. This one is going to be there. This one, oh, it's a little puzzle. We don't mind puzzles, do we? Okay, this one is not supposed to be here. But it's here for now because I don't have any storage and I don't have any dry storage. So it's just in the back of my car until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. I might make it into slices that I can use for slots. Um, they might be too thin. It's just four mil plywood. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it inside one of the windows. Probably going to use it for this space if I might make a little box for this space or a little like to take over here that you just either make a little that just wraps around this piece or if I put magnets on it and it just pops on with tiny little magnets and the dog has been dragging this curtain around so all the magnets that was here is now oh, all around the car but tiny little magnets like this in each end and then a little strip over here to cover this hole so you can access this hole if you want to put uh, something in there I don't know then we have the only one that was Oh, this was also nicely cut. This one is gonna go. Oh my god! Now, one tip: have storage where you can have everything, so you don't have to work around everything else. It makes it so much easier. It goes so much faster. So that's one there. And we have. Over here, so as you can see here, uh, this one can't go around there because built uh, the car builds out a little bit, so. I have to have it out from... I could actually go down two more centimeters, I think. Of course. Now I figure out that I could have gone even lower. No, I probably can't. I think it's just this one that builds up a little bit. So, shall we screw? <laughs> so I'm going to have one here, one here. And then one in the front, so things don't slide out. Uh, but right now, I'm just gonna put it together so that we see how it works, <laughs> how it works, and then we can. Uh, I think I'm gonna have the ugly one in the back. We're gonna have the broken one in the back and the nice one. So all of this is just leftover pieces that I have laying around so I just took down my my uh, I changed the bedroom and the bathroom so I have these pieces and that's what I'm going to use now but I think I have to close the door to be able to put these in the same I don't want to screw anything down Let's try, let's at least try to make it work and not just wing it like I always do. I did wing, wing something yesterday and it worked out. No, I didn't wing it. I measured it. Yeah, I measured it. I didn't wing it. I sort of winged it and then I started measuring it and it went well. So uh, yeah, let's try to do that here. Two. So I'm just going to close the door to see where we're at. 
and I should probably have something to make sure this is straight. Which is difficult when you're in a... Ouch! I need something here for pulling this one. to be it. Oh. Hey! <laughs> there you are! <laughs> How are you doing, my lovelies? Ah. Let's see here. We have a bit, bit in here. One bit. And then we have some screws. And then we have... So we have it on low. And then we have it on level like this, and then this one goes all the way up to, um, so this one is really powerful, you can have low and high, and then it goes, and then all the way up to drilling and even hammer drilling, so this one is a power tool that I just, oh, my baby, I couldn't do it without this one, it's the best tool in the world, just love it. So I'm thinking because we're gonna have the slots in the front so we're gonna have someone to pull out this are the main bed and then we're gonna have a pull out system I'm just not sure how we're gonna make that pull out system so this one pulls all the way out because this is 50 and then it's gonna pull out 50 was my top but perhaps I'm, I have to rethink that one and have the 60 and the pull out 40. Um, I haven't really been watching how other people build their bed because I like to just, you know, make the thing all over again and complicated for myself. So what I have here is leftover stakes from the same project that I think I'm gonna use to build for the kitchen somehow but we're gonna take that some other time not now okay let's play with this power tool And someone say, oh my god, you're not drilling a hole, you're just putting it in and everything can, can, you know. But these have, they have a little slat in here, so they're self-drilling, oh, I think it called something. They fix it themselves, so it doesn't crack as easily. So don't worry, I know what I'm doing. even checked if this angle is straight but who cares <laughs> let's just have fun doing this now And the reason I built on site instead of like taking measurement and build it somewhere else is because I, don't, I have aphnasia 
so I can't see pictures in my mind. I can't make a digital picture book in my head. I need to do it wish visualizing. I need to do it like this or I won't be able to. I have a problem understanding. I know what I want it to look like, but I can't like break it down into pieces in my head and like picture it in my head. I have to do it like this because otherwise it's just like a blur, you know? I can't really, I can't, yeah, I'm unable to. So I need to do it like this. And uh, yeah, I have some thoughts about it and I write it down in my book and I try to draw it, but you know, drawing something in a square it's quite different from doing something in a car that's not straight. You know, it has pieces like this, and this one is further out than this one. And here you have this corner here. And you know, if I wasn't thinking about, if I didn't do this, I wouldn't think about this one and everything would be wrong, you know, and I had to redo it. So doing it like this, you can work around the problem instead of trying to solve it after. Okay? Big check. reason I did this. So easy. Easy to take out. Easy to put in. It's just gonna slide into its place. And now let's see here. And if you think these pieces are too small, uh, I'm about 60 kilos. They are not too small. You know, you don't need two by twos and four by fours and all that because unless you're you don't need two by twos and huge things to build. Like I'm showing here, these pieces are not smaller. They're not thicker than my finger here, but they can take my weight pretty well because they have support in the middle. So the spin is not so long that it can't take my weight. And also my weight is gonna be distributed over both of these over several slots. So why do I go for small things like this? Weight. You always have to think about weight when you're building in a car like this, especially if you don't have four wheels drive. If you have four wheels drive, no problem. But you also have to think about weight limits on your car. This car, because I removed the middle piece here, my weight limit went down and that's because of um, protection from whatever in behind here from coming into the driver's seat while I'm if it's a crash or a full stop or something like that so the more since this is a front wheel drive the more lightweight it is the better it is the more heavy it is on the back end this is not 
where it pulls. It pulls in the front and the heavier it is here, the more it's going to lift the front and the more the front is lifted, the less uh, connection the wheel's going to have with whatever what's underneath and that means that you're going to have problems getting where you're supposed to go. So the more lightweight I can do in here, the better. These are they're lightweight enough of course I could just do like this and have these instead of this whole thing and I would save all this weight in the middle but the thing is um, this is for if I want to put in drawers like the little thingies and also I won't have things slipping through between you know, going in and out and getting catched and caught and stuff like that. Things are going to slide straight in and straight out, you know. Uh, and it's easy. You just get this piece and you put it on and you're done, you know. Um, so I made these slots for what's going to be in the front here. That's going to be here, I think. I think I'm just going to have it like this. So they're gonna slide in like this. I know people do like this, but I'm gonna have it like this. Um, I guess they're gonna be weight bearing the piece that's going off. So the problem is the piece in the back here. I can pull this further, I can unscrew it and I can put this further out here. And then of course this can sort of be on the front here to be that extra let's do it like this I think to be that extra okay this one is not straight at all and if I put it this way it's higher put it this way oh better so it's higher in this one anyway um if I put it in front here, I'm going to have that extra 60 centimeters, I think. Anyway, I don't know. I don't really need one in the back here. Because when you pull it, the front is still going to be resting on this one. And in the back here, it's going to be resting on this one. So the only thing I need here is for it to not slide. Um, it's not for it to tip down, I think, mostly, so it doesn't fall down when you're going to pull it out. And if you're going to push it in, it doesn't tip down. So what I'm going to do is also, I'm going to round this piece here, try to make it an edge. So when you pull it, push it in, the piece is going to come and just slide up. And this, I'm going to do the same with the boards I'm going to have this way. I'm going to round the edge or make it um, angular on the edge so when I push it in this, these two edges are just gonna meet and then slide on top of each other so I guess we're done for today <laughs> because I need more of these pieces and I'm not sure if I have these pieces and I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish this yet so yeah that's going to be for the next time, but at least the frame for the bed is done. <laughs> and I need to figure out what I'm going to have on top of here. And if I'm going to put it down even one more or two more centimeters so that I get more height under here because I'm going to have uh, my mattress on top and my thought is to have a mattress that is double. So, so the thought is that my mattress, it flips out, not like others that pull it out or um, take this one and have a lot of pieces. I want mine to be uniform. So when I flip it out, this piece in the middle is going to be whole. There's not going to be like a strip in the middle that things can fold into. It's going to be this piece on the top here I want that to be another fabric than the one that's going to be on this side so when I close it 
is going to have a fabric that takes a lot of tear that you, you know that can do that you can sit on the dog can jump up and down it's going to have it's going to be durable sorry about that oh let's put that stomach in so we're going to have this durable uh, fabric on top and then when you take it out and also that means that this side of the madras is going to be a little uh, faster so harder uh, for so it's comfortable to sit on while when you flip it out the one in the middle is going to be softer so when you go to bed you have the soft side to sleep on and then you have like the little bit rougher one to sit on you know and then the rough one is going to be underneath and make sure that when your body lays down you're not going to feel the slabs on the meat but you're going to have this fastened piece of the mattress and then you're going to have the soft piece and then you're going to have a fabric on top that's going to be a little bit more breathable so you don't feel like you're getting you know burned from sorry being in contact with it and perhaps i do like some sort of um I'm not I'm still I'm processing while I'm talking so that's why it suddenly stops and it looks like I'm zooming out it's just because I'm going into my head and trying to figure this out and since I have a nausea I can't really figure it out so it takes a little bit of time sorry about that but what popped into my head is I can have the like the sheets that you have like the elastic one that you flip over and under the mattress but you can also have you know the the regular sheets and what i can do what popped into my mind now is you can do like the the, the not the zipper the, the like the, the one you like pull from each other i don't remember what that is in english but you know the one that sticks and then you can pull it and then it sticks again velcro velcro ha huh. So what if I do, so what I can do is use Velcro around here and then I can make some sheets with Velcro on it. So I can have like this perfect sheets with this Velcro edge. So when I pop it out, the, the sheets is going to be there. And when I change it, I can just rip it out and put on another one and throw that one in the wash, you know. Uh, so that's another way to do it because you don't want to use a lot of time and you don't want to have a lot of storage and if you have um, the wrap around when you flip it up you're gonna see that that wrap is going to be on top of your seat somehow and you know so if I do the velcro thingy I can or I can also do like have magnets so I can just do some magnet pieces on the mattress in the corners and places around and then make sheets with in sewn magnets and then you just and it just attaches so one way or another attach the sheets to the mattress so that when you wake up in the morning you're still on the sheet the sheet hasn't like moved out of the way because you've been crawling around and suddenly you're not on the sheets anymore if you understand my drift and also the faster it is means that I can close it without the sheets just crawling and falling out and stuff you know so what do you think about my my uh, velcro sheets and the thought behind my my mattress and also the mattress is not supposed to be taller than this perhaps I don't know when it's flipped together and then like this when you flip it out so I don't need thick mattress um, it needs to be comfortable it doesn't need to be like this really thick and huge mattress so I have to probably talk to a mattress company or something to figure this one out or get someone to make it to me for me or something I don't know I don't really know it's still in my head 
but yeah what do you think about my folding out mattress idea with a different fabric inside a rougher fabric on the outside and the velcro for this um, sheets ID and what do you think about my frame let's get out of here and so you can see so I have one extra if I need that I can cut it to fit you know on the hair if I need if this one wasn't good enough I had this extra piece that I can use I can use this just to square off to make more smaller drawers or stuff like that so I'm keeping it but I think I'm, maybe I'm gonna cut this one even shorter or if it's just because I have all this underneath so when I take that one out so it's just the carpet probably going to be lower so but for now my bed frame is done so as a frame it's not the bed finished product So I just found a new problem. So what happens is that I lovered, lovered the bed. I made the bed go down, which means that my toolbox is no longer fitting underneath it. But since this is just cardboard, I might be able to just, you know, cut it and somehow get a new little thingy on it so I think it's gonna be okay or I have to go box shopping for something that fits underneath here it's just like it's just like one centimeter or two centimeters almost that this is too high and then we have this one but that one doesn't need to be in the box it's um fire distinguisher we need that one in the car just in case just in case because we're going to be cooking with flames inside here and i have carpets carpets can burn and stuff like that so yeah but that was a little pain in the butt but no problem because we can just do like this for now <laughs> 